for two decades, the Tokyo Development Learning Center has been at the forefront of urban transformation. Our mission is to create livable cities through innovative urban solutions embedded in the power of knowledge exchange. From the streets of Japan to emerging cities around the globe, TDLC's vision has always been about connecting knowledge with action. Over the years, TDLC, empowered by partnerships and collaboration with key Japanese cities, has spearheaded transformative projects across continents, addressing urban challenges with tailored solutions from the Japanese experience. So the TDD event that I was involved in was the Somalia Mayor's Forum, where we had six mayors from different cities come to Nairobi, Kenya, and um, they met with various mayors from other parts of the world. I think the best takeaway was that, irrespective of like the difference in the local context, mayors do face similar challenges. It really meant a lot for them to hear from their own peers how they went about prioritizing and balancing uh, competing demands. I think that was really useful. So right now, Somalia and Japan are obviously at very different stages of development, but they could picture the end point, where they could go, and then the evolution of the challenges that they may be grappling with as the development improves or, or advances in Somalia. And I think it really reinvigorated them, and they have um, gone ahead and translated some of what they've learned into action um, under our project and beyond. I hope that TDLC can do more of those types of uh, forums going forward. I participated in the technical deep dive on affordable housing organized by the TDLC along with our clients earlier this year. It was a deeply enriching experience, both professionally and personally. It offered a truly unique and inspiring opportunity to learn from initiatives implemented within Japan as well as elsewhere around the world. The TDD was thoughtfully structured covering key areas across the housing value chain and provided insights into various international best practices. Japan's experience in disaster resilient and post-war housing was also highly relevant, given that our country faces similar risks of recurrent floods and terrorism. Japan's focus on energy efficient building materials aligns with our goals of developing climate resilient and eco-friendly housing. A big thank you to the TDLC team for such an amazing learning experience. I have attended to the TDLC program for the technical deep dive. That was a great experience for me. Uh, everyone carried their own experience to the table. One of the most impressive thing is the rain gardens. What we have seen in Kyoto is a very primitive rain harvesting system. That's a real green garden, welcoming all the customers. So the rain regime is really great. Maybe 200 years ago, it was even better. The people respect the planet. People respect the nature. I think that's kind of Japanese culture. Japanese people are showing their love to the planet by finding efficient ways to save the sources, save the resources, save the energies, even save the sunlight. Also, Arashiyama, we went to a riverbank. They have built the flood blocker walls. The Japanese has a very unique approach to the nature solutions. It gives us a lot of inspiration. From Japan to Africa, East Asia and Pacific, Europe and Central Asia, Latin America and the Caribbean, Middle East and North Africa, and the South Asia region, TDLC's reach and its impact are profound. As we look forward to the next 20 years, TDLC remains committed to knowledge sharing, grounded in strong partnerships with Japanese cities. Evolving as an academy that follows the knowledge bank model, TDLC is ensuring that the cities of tomorrow are more livable, sustainable, and inclusive. Together, we are transforming cities, shaping the future.